I'm Tuffy Stone, and we're at Miss Mary Bobo's for the Champions Dinner at the 2022 Jack Daniels World Barbecue Invitational. I'm at Miss Mary Bobo's restaurant here in Lynchburg, Tennessee. It used to be a boarding house and Jack Daniels used to live here. So there's a lot of history here. There's nine different rooms. You sit down with people that you may not know and all the dishes are served family style. This is my 12th year being down here in the holler, 12th year being at the Jack. I've cooked it 11 times. This is my first time that I'm cooking at the Jack, but I'm not cooking in the competition. We're doing a dinner tonight They've called it the Champions Dinner. It's the first year that Jack Daniels has ever had this dinner. The dinner is sold out. I'm cooking for about 100 people with Chef Chris. Chef Chris, uh, he grew up in the area. He has worked here a really long time. Really great guy. He's doing some dishes. I'm doing some dishes. So part of my contributions for tonight's Champions Dinner at Miss Mary Bobo's, I'm cooking two meats. One of the meats that I'm cooking is Chairman's Reserve St. Louis Cut Pork Spare Ribs. And the way I'm prepping those is I did a light trim on them, removed the membrane, and then I seasoned them with uh, two different rubs. I seasoned them with my newest Tuffy Stone Classic Barbecue Rub, and then a light finish coat of my Tuffy Stone Sweet Barbecue Rub. They're savory ribs. They got a sweetness to them that I think hopefully the guests will like tonight. So I, I layered those two rubs on the pork ribs and I let the rubs sweat for about an hour. While those ribs are sweating, the, the, the rubs are actually starting to dissolve a little bit. You'll see the ribs kind of get a glassy look to it. They just get a little flavor penetration that way. So at that point, after the rubs been on there, the two rubs been on there for one hour, they've sweat. I put them on the smoker. I'm cooking 34 racks of ribs. They're really nice, meaty ribs. I let them cook for one hour. My pit's been running. Because I had so much meat on there, I started at about 300 degrees because it's a lot of meat. After they've been cooking for one hour, I just brushed uh, some butter on, on the meat side. And what that does is, you know, they cook for an hour, rub, it starts to set and becomes a little bit of a bark. And when you put that butter on there, it just makes the exterior of the ribs just nicer. It's gonna look nicer, it's gonna bite nicer. And then after that, I've got some apple juice and I'm spritzing, uh, you know, after the butter, I spritz them 30 minutes later, I spritz them again. And I'm gonna wrap these ribs. There's a nickname for it, it's called the Texas Crutch. At two hours in, cooking all hickory wood, I'm gonna have really pretty color, the right amount of smoke, but they're not tender. So by wrapping these ribs in aluminum foil, I'll put a few of my ingredients, like a butter again, apple juice spray, a light coat of my sweet rub, a light sprinkle of uh, light brown sugar, and I'm gonna wrap them, put them back on the pit, and they'll cook for anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours longer after they've been wrapped until they get to the desired tenderness that I'm looking for. And after that, I'm gonna hit them with a little sauce and let them rest, and we'll slice them up, put them on the platters, and send them out to the guests. It's easier to cook for 100 people than six judges at the Jack. Hello, my name's Chris Dickey. I'm the kitchen supervisor here at Miss Mary Bobo's Boarding House in Lynchburg, Tennessee. I've lived here in Lynchburg all my life. I believe what keeps me here he is here in Lynchburg is the heritage, a lot of the family. My family's been here for many generations. I'm sixth generation that's worked here at the distillery of my family, actually. I just keep coming back each day because it don't matter what part you work in, there's always somebody coming in visiting, wanting to learn more about the distillery, and we tell them how we make our whiskey. And then getting to be a part over here at Miss Bobo's, I get to feed them a little bit too when they come into town. They all enjoy some of our good Southern cooking. So the tri-tip's very simple prep, well maybe it's not simple. This is where a little bit of my French uh, culinary 
training kind of comes into play. I trim the tri-tips. Again, they're Chairman's Reserve. Really beautiful beef tri-tips. I'm gonna season them with the rub that I really like to make. It's, uh, you'll probably, you can find it on my YouTube channel, but it's uh, celery seed rub. It's got five ingredients in there. No sugar, very savory, very bold. Complements that beef tri-tip really nicely. And I am gonna start them off on the smoker and get some good smoke on there and spritz them occasionally with some apple juice. But to finish them, I'm gonna get my grill going hot and I'm gonna finish these off, get some char on them from the grill, cook them to about medium rare and, and let them rest. A lot of people wouldn't use a Weber kettle for 100 people, but uh, look at here, here you go. And here's where the French comes in. So I'm gonna make, uh, I make this dish a lot, so you may have heard about it from me before. I just really like it a lot. My dad would have said it's a crowd pleaser, but crispy bacon brown butter. I mean, how does that sound? I mean, how delicious does that sound? Crispy bacon brown butter. Top the, the sliced beef tri-tip with that, and then the little finish of some balsamic drizzle, which all you do is reduce balsamic vinegar down until it becomes like a syrup. It's sweet, it's tangy, it's really good. So that's a wrap on dinner. Everybody's, uh, we got three floors, nine rooms. Uh, Chef Chris and I, you know, got busy towards the end and I saw some old friends, so I, I, I lassoed them and brought them in and couldn't have done it without them. So Jason and Chip, thank you so much for lending us a set of hands. I felt like we cooked good food. Uh, they're, they're about ready to finish up. We're gonna do some dessert and we're gonna walk around and say hello to everybody. And then tomorrow the jack starts. It's all how you handle catastrophes. This is Chef Chris, or the uh, chef of Miss Mary Bobo's. So all the good food you can thank him for. So I gotta tell you, I, I didn't know what it was gonna be like. This is my 12th time coming down to the Jack. First time ever not competing in the Jack. And I didn't know what it was gonna be like, but we just, we, uh, Chef Chris, Chef Travis, we just fed 100 people. I think they're all really happy. I'm really tired, but I'm very satisfied. I think they are too. Uh, if, if you enjoyed what we're doing, I hope you'll follow us on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. We're going to be doing not only uh, recipes and, and, and trying to teach people how to cook with fire and share my approach, but we're also going to go on some journeys together. So if you liked it, please subscribe and thank you all so much for watching tonight.